Good morning. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. Hi, buddy. It's my dog, Bowser. He likes chicken. Okay. Uh, so this, I'm at home. It's a brand new day. Um, doggy's happy. I think you've seen all this. Brewing room. Portal out there. Uh, enchanting setup. I've been digging out and expanding things. I've got... A little bedroom here with some bookshelves and for decoration. Snow farm. Um, and my storage, I've been expanding. And I've been digging out the house. I dug over essentially a ravine, which is quite fascinating. Don't know if I'll keep it glassed in like this. Uh, so I keep digging back periodically. Hello. Oh goodness, I hear my villagers. Interesting. Okay, that's fine. So let's show you around a little bit. Mines, which I don't know if I'm taking you down. Come on, open up. Ugh. The internet sucks tonight. Um, okay, so this is our spawn area. <laughs> There's some changes. I have a little auto smelter here, which I've been using. I've pretty much converted over char over to charcoal. Okay, so my thing will my my house is taking me underneath this, which is interesting. So I've built a little faux village here. I don't know if I've shown you this. I've got some villagers. Occasionally, I get an iron golem spawning, um, but they keep disappearing. Don't know why. Huh. Huh. Wait, I have I got three villagers there. Interesting. Um, so I built this little villager trading area. I built this uh, overhang, so this mountain wouldn't be an issue. And I built trading stalls for villagers. I've got a few villagers here, and I've labeled them. So I've got two clerics. Um, which are, this guy has a very good zombie flush trade, but his price and his uh, price on the eye of ender is, is good. Um, but his glowstone and, and other trades are not so good. This guy isn't so good on eyes of ender or zombie flush, but he has a good deal on glowstone. Um, so then I only have the one librarian, um, doesn't have real great books I tend to improve that I've got a couple armors this guy gives you protection to on breaking two chest plates which is pretty good um, so not too bad can be worked out so I've got this little area that I intend to fill up I haven't spent as much time here working with these guys as I need to um, hello mr. cleric not so good. Nah. Yeah, not so great. Um, to get rid of the villagers that aren't so great, I created a villager disposal unit. Um, nothing fancy. Just drops them down into a pit of lava. Uh, if I have an iron golem, he doesn't get upset at me when I do that. So anyway, that's my trader set. Oh, and then I built mostly as a demonstration to show Vex a way of doing this. I built a little automated sugarcane farm. Um, it's it goes along. It's doing pretty good. I come over here and there's usually a stack or two of sugarcane for me to turn into sugar into paper to trade with the villagers. So that works. Okay. Um, so that structure is new. That's, uh, that's Tom's place. It was just a pillar of glass, but he sort of wrapped it all in lava. And I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but it looks pretty cool. And you can see it from a pretty good distance away. He has also started building out from the top of his place, a big, long, 
um, a bridge, I guess, to nowhere. Uh, I don't know how far he plans to take it. Um, I've talked with him about it. I don't want it to go too far. If he takes it like, you know, 20,000 blocks, that may cause some issues uh, on the server. Um, but, yeah, it's working. Vex has uh, upgraded his castle some. He switched over to bricks. Expanded his tower there. He's got a real nice setup in the back. Let's go take a look at that. Over here, he's got a horse stable now, which is very cool. A breeding setup. He's got a little horse timer. And he set up a automated... Um, automated or semi-automated farm here. I guess it's automated. It's not fully automatic. So when you place, when you plant stuff here, it dispenses bone meal from up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, or not. Come on. Goodness. There we go. Dispenses bone meal, automatically grows it. He's got this minecart that goes back and forth I'm not quite sure I think that's for you to ride back and forth planting I don't know whatever uh, we took out the sugar cane back here and just put in some water features which is nice we found a swamp so we were able to get the lily pads he reduced the size of some of the fields on the farm back here but it's still good um, here he built a automated sugar cane farm um, it's a similar design to what I built um, it's come on goodness uh, um, the redstone's quite a bit more complicated than it needs to be but you know it works and it's providing him sugar cane he built up this village here uh, he's got a couple iron golems that have spawned. He's got quite a few villagers. He's got a librarian that's got a silk touch book, which is awesome. Um, yeah. So then to get down into the farms, he set up a little rail system. So you hop in the rail cart and it takes you down. I won't show you. The farms haven't changed that much. They're still very handy, very helpful. So that's the string farm and the, the zombie spawner XP farm. He found uh, a skeleton spawner and built a little skeleton grinder so that he could get bone meal put into the dispensers, which is pretty cool. Um, very nicely built a little kiosk out here with uh, stuff that basically he didn't want anymore. He's getting a lot of arrows out of the out of the skeleton grinder and yeah he's got some villagers that have some not so great trades but he uses them to unlock to unlock their trades but this is great for new people coming on the server um let's see here let's go up to risk's place risk's place because this has gotten a little crazy so, <laughs> Risk, Risk and C's house, not ADA compliant. Now with MSG. Um, yeah, Risk doesn't believe in putting rails around anything. So he's got stuff here like, oh, he's got a little farm area here. It's high up, high up enough that the water freezes, which I don't think is good for the for the uh, for the crops I don't think it helps them grow so much he's got sheep farms over here um, which is a little bit crazy uh, he's got I don't know I last time I checked there were over 300 entities in his area here mainly because he needed wool to build these things up in the air and notice that there's no access 
when the sun goes down, which it's about to do, we'll sit here and watch. Oh, he's got daylight sensors up there and they open up water flow and the water flows down to the ground and then you can swim up to go visit which isn't super convenient he's got a in the in this guy here he's got a portal so we have nether access but um, getting it he had to move it a couple times because he kept building it too close to everything else uh, over here he's got a he's got a very nice forest the lost wood and he's got his enchanting room over here there's another floating island build up above it um, past the enchanting room is another gargantuan portal that again is too close to the the portal near my place to have its own link and again he doesn't believe in safety rails or anything uh, so so that's that it's all very nerve-wracking walking around here um, and he's got a stable area back over here and he's got a he likes putting in rail everywhere um, and he likes riding around and uses it to visit other people oh the, he told me that he was building a cactus farm and I guess this is what he was talking about goodness I don't know why there's a wall here, but so I think he was planning. He's using these uh, sand blocks to grow cactus. Okay. Or may oh, there's cactus over here. I don't know. Maybe it's expanding. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that seems dangerous and unnecessary. Okay. Fascinating. So you see, he keeps building these platforms up in the sky to put all his stuff on. He's got a nice view of things, of course. All right. And then uh, let's see what else. Let's get back down here. Um. I do like, wait, oh, I don't know where that rail goes, I guess he's got dogs, he's got a bunch of cows and horses, okay, he thinned out the cow herd a bit, uh, I do like this water here, it goes down the stairs, wee wee, Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, that's fun to ride down. And it's kind of late to be doing this, actually. But, so one day I was out here working in the, by the, uh, the villagers, and this gargantuan wall appeared. I, I, I don't know. It's a little close into town, but, you know. Oh, and of course, you know, it doesn't help if you leave the gates open. Um, and, of course, it cuts off Lansky. Whoa. Okay, I'm not ready to fight anyone because my leg. Um, but it cut off his place. So, so uh, Risk built a rail out there. And he put in this road and, and he cut it through this thing here. So I had to reinstall this up here because there's a sharp cliff right next to the the village. And he left open this area. So I'm going to do something here. I think I'm going to build a little display of some sort. I don't know. 